The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? And Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry is here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thanks. Glad to be here. All right. What's our storytelling tip this week? It is to be trendy. Trendy. Absolutely. You know, oh. There's no hope for Eric. Oh, no. Trendy. Oh, I don't believe that. See, actually, Eric was talking in the last hour about yeah. wanting to get your apartment Cleaned up. By, by hot girls. Yeah, but see, what I'm thinking is, see, if you were to find out that there's a trend that hot girls actually like dirty apartments, that they're, you know, becoming more attracted to them, that would be a trend you'd be interested in. Amen. Now, it's also a pipe dream, but... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You dream lift me on, up and you throw me down. You know, you know but, but here's the thing. We, we do all... We all are interested in trends of some kind because, you know, we're interested in what other people are doing, partly because of we're just interested in what people are doing, but also because, you know, if enough people are doing something, then maybe they know something that we don't know and we ought to kind of jump on board. Yeah, we don't want to be left out. Absolutely. Get on board the lemming train. Yeah, and so here's the thing. If you can if you can incorporate, if, if there's something about what you do that involves a trend that you're aware of that you can share with the rest of us uh, uh, useful information you know then the chances are that's going to make your story more interesting to us and better yet if you can tell us either how to take advantage of a trend or avoid being hurt by a trend then you really have given us useful information that we can act on and you know and that is great jerry but what if we're not really i mean how do we follow the trends how do we know where do we look for trends well you know in, in in a lot of businesses there just are trends that are just part of what you do in business for example if you're in the real estate business right now i was talking to a couple of realtors in the past week or so they say you know after a glut of houses on the market for the last few years and prices going down they say now they have all these customers wanting to buy houses there's no inventory there are no houses on the market well if you've got a house you've been wanting to sell for the last few years and haven't put on the market because you figured you wouldn't get your money out of it right that's a trend you want to know about because maybe now's the time that you want to put your now's the time you want to put your house on the market you know um are there trends about um, all kinds of things? Like I saw a story a few years ago, a trend about the uh, fact that more kids or adult kids were hiring their retirement age parents to help them run their businesses. Really? Uh, yeah. And so there are just all kinds of interesting things like that. You know, if you're... Um, if you're in charge of admissions or, or, or marketing for a college, you know what what kind of what are the demographics of students? Are they getting older? Are they getting are they changing what they're studying? Those are things that we would be interested in knowing about. Do you find that Twitter gives you a good source of what's what's really trending in in uh, the pop culture? Well, of course, and then actually, you know, people love to see what's trending, and we'll, I mean, and of course, they make that very easy for you to see now because we're all interested in trends. And here's the thing, you know, if if you tell me about a trend that affects me, the chances are I'm going to be interested. But if there are a lot of people who are affected by the trend you're talking about, then a lot of people are going to be interested. And so that means a lot of people will be interested in your story. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Jerry, is this a service you provide to your clients if, if we know that something's trending? Perhaps I'm in real estate and you see these trends to um, you know, feature those trends in their newsletters and things like that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's one of what I call the big four in terms of if you want to turn your story into news or make it more interesting, this is one of the real basic ones. I, I once shared a, uh, I was in a seminar and on a panel with a guy who at the time was the business editor for the Denver Post, and he said only half jokingly, uh, you know, we love trend stories and we consider anything with at least three plot points to be a trend. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, for an article about today's storytelling tip uh, um, that you just heard here on the Experience Pros Radio Show, go to Jerry's blog. You can find it at jerrybrownpr.com. There's also an archive of st all the storytelling tips that Jerry shares here on his website, 
jerrybrownpr.com. You know, the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Plus, Jerry can help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016.